In this lesson, we are going to try to figure out what a coordinate is based on an arc length. Um, and it kind of sounds weird, and um, but it ends up being very, very straightforward, actually. So if we're given an arc length S lies on this unit circle, x squared plus y squared equals 1, um, and our arc length is going to start at the coordinate 1, 0, and end at some coordinate. What is that coordinate? So they give us that the arc length is 2.5. All right. So let me just give you a rough visual of what we got going on here. We got arc length. This is 1, 0. So we're starting where we normally should on any kind of angle or anything like that. Um, and we're doing this arc length that's 2.5. Well, like, how far is that? I don't know. Well, we actually have more information than you realize. That if we're in radians, um, this value would be pi. Well, the decimal version of pi is 3.14. And up here would be pi over 2. So the decimal version of that would be 1.57. So if you did 2.5, you might be kind of somewhere around there. So this arc length is going to be that long. So that is our coordinate that we are trying to figure out. So um, basically the hint is really the biggest part to this. It's that um, your arc length, because it's on a unit circle, is really just the radian measurement. And so your x value is just going to be equal to cosine of whatever angle you have, aka radian. And your y value is just sine of whatever your angle is. So then all that means is that your coordinate of x, y becomes cosine 2.5 and sine 2.5. Make sure your calculator is in radians, and it is just going to spit out some values for you. So negative 0 0.8011 and positive uh, 0.5985. So that's just me plugging this in the calculator, plugging that in the calculator, getting a value, getting a value, and that ends up being it. So just to make sure that it feels like a right answer, that arc length of 2.5 is somewhere in the second quadrant. Your x value should be negative, and you should have more x than you have y. You're out further than you are up. So having a negative 0.8 versus a positive 0.5, almost 6, feels okay. And we have a negative x and a positive y. All right, and that is it.